Hey everyone, thanks for joining today. I'm gonna jump right in with this quick video about theta decay. So what is theta decay? Well, also, talk, also called time decay, theta decay refers to the gradual reduction in the value of an options contract over time. What is theta itself? It's actually a numerical measurement of how much an options price is going to decrease for each day that passes, assuming all other factors remain constant. In previous videos, we've talked about some of the other factors that are an influence option pricing, intrinsic value, extrinsic value, time to expiration, and volatility. Time itself is going to be a critical factor in the extrinsic value of options. And when we look at the extrinsic value of options, we're talking about what the option is priced at today based on where the underlying is. Understanding theta decay can help you as an options trader to figure out how time can work for you or against you as an options buyer or seller. So we've talked about theta and its effect on options premium pricing over time. This graph will be important to kind of visualize this. On the y-axis, we've charted the options pricing. Uh, in this case, we're actually going to be looking at how the price of an SPY options contract would delay over time. Uh, we're going to be looking at an option starting from 90 days to expiration going all the way down to zero days. So you might have seen this chart in some other courses here. Ours or you know different visualizations of options pricing and how it is affected by theta. If you were a seller buy an options contract, you would see the prices let's say starting around $10 at 90 days of expiration. From 90 days to 60 days, there isn't going to be a lot of decaying in those options. And you can see this graphed out uh, 90 days to 60 days down to 45 days. It's, it's a smoother line going from left to right, but it also doesn't really start to dip down too much. When you're looking at 45 to even 30 days, that's when you start to see time decay. Uh, quicker and quicker by the day, which we'll be able to see in the next couple of minutes here as we look at how options prices are going to change as reflected by theta. It's pretty typical for theta decay to pick up uh, from 30 days uh, and further down to expiration, which is why in a lot of cases, when we're talking about selling longer term options, selling between 30 and 45 and even up to 60 days is an ideal situation where you're going to be getting a bigger price or you're going to be getting a better price out of the gate for your options and you're selling it right before that time period where if all else hell is constant options will the options premium will start to dry up will start to go down and that's theta being your friend there as an option seller so we talked about all else held constant uh, what i wanted to do was actually show an example of how theta is going to help um, bring down the price of an options contract over time and show how much faster that becomes from 30 days to zero days expiration compared to 90 to 60 days that beginning of a contract and to do that i want to pick a time period this is november 18th the end of the year 2022 um, i want to pick a period where volatility was pretty constant and it wasn't in a situation where volatility was completely dictating the options pricing, I wanted to get a situation where you could kind of see for yourself usually how options pricing should be affected by theta. So let's pull up X SPY here um, and we're going to look at a contract that is close to 90 days to expiration. Let's see what the price of that options contract would be. Let's just pick one out here. Um, I'm going to be looking at 30 Delta 376. So right now, you're not seeing theta displayed here, but I can show you how to do that in just a second. I'm going to add that column to the options chain here at the very end. 
So theta is always displayed as negative um, because if you're looking at, okay, so this is SPY puts 90 days out, February 17th, 2023 expiration, 91 days out, sorry. Each day that goes by, if all else held constant, the price of the option should go down by eight cents. All uh, right, so tomorrow, same time, the option is selling for $10.20 in premium. That should go down to $10.12. Obviously, you know, everything else is not always held constant, but that is, you know, your theoretical application of theta. So let's jump ahead here, and this is February 17, 2023, 91 days of expiration. Let's look at 60 days of expiration. That is going to take you to December 19th, 2022. Now we're going to want to look at that 376. Strike price. And see where we're at. Let's uh, make sure this pre-buffering here so this data isn't updated. Okay. So 376, you can see the option pricing has gone down a little bit uh, from 1020 to 996. And we're looking at the, the selling of the put 376. So you can see theta itself has, has gone up, right? So now all else held constant, the, option, the price of this option will be going down nine cents per day. So let's jump ahead 15 days here to January 3rd, 2023. The data is live here. You can see theta is, is picking up here. It's gaining over time. Um, 916 is where the option is priced at for 376 strike price put on SPY. Now when we look at 30 days to expiration, that's going to bring us to February 17th, oops, sorry, um, January 18th, now, this is an on-demand view again, so let's just wait until the data loads here, we're going to stick on this set 376 put. All right, look at that, 376. Well, theta actually is, is dropping, so something must have happened there um, implicitly, right? Or look, affecting the implicit value of the stock. Uh, you know, brand new year here, January 18th, a lot can happen, but um, even though theta has slowed down a bit, and you know, now we're down to 183 for that option. So you can really see how this is gonna be starting to continually go down and at a very fast rate. So let's jump ahead here to 15 days of expiration. And I mean, I'm guessing this is gonna be cents that this is going for. 376, 31 cents. Uh, theta is actually slowing down here, but um, you know you can see the effect of theta. And we're at three seven. We're at thirty one cents here. And if we bring this all the way to the seventeenth, zero days expiration, you're going to see it. Well, it'll be one day to expiration, so it'll have some value in it. But at the end of the day, it will be zero. Three seventy six zero.